My name is Manny Almanza. I'm the Director of Marketing here at Kilgore College, and I am joined today by D.L. Simmons. He is the young man that is presenting this next exhibit here at the Andean Turk Fine Arts Gallery on the Kilgore College campus. D.L. is working with the University of Texas at Tyler. If you'll tell us what you do at UT Tyler to give us sort of a background as to what we're going to be seeing today. All right, I'm a professor of printmaking at UT Tyler. Um, I teach uh, etching, engraving, silkscreen, lithography, and planography. And so it's, it's different processes. So most people are familiar with painting and sculpting and, and drawing and, and printmaking is where all that kind of collides. So for example, I will draw on stone and then I can transfer the image from stone to paper a hundred times. So I have a hundred original drawings instead of just one charcoal drawing, right? And so that's it. It started out originally printmaking was developed to make copies of sheet music because people got really tired of writing notes over and over again. So they, we made processes to copy things. So with all that being said, we want to walk through and take a look at many of the exhibits that you have hanging today because these works, personally, stuff that I've never seen before, so I'm even more curious as to the explanation as to your thoughts and the processes to go by it. So as we take a look at this first one, how do you want to tell us what it's about? I call this a night full version, um, and it's, uh, it's, it's actually, it, at night it glows in the dark, so the whole image lights up like a pool at night. Uh, so it, it, it looks different in low light than it does in, during the day. And other images appear that are kind of layered in. So I use uh, stencils and I draw and I use toner underneath uh, these enamel layers. Uh, and so as it charges during the day, uh, other images start appearing at, at night. And, and so I have a lot of fun with my images where they, they'll change and shift and I figure I might move its arm or something. You know, and it, and it brings a little, a little, a little fun, a little humor. Uh, but also it's, it's about how we perceive um, this image um, is made up of actually one, two, five different photos um, that I reworked together, and, and you kind of see it has kind of a swell in the um, in the composition. It's kind of the, to bring it forward, and then I play around with like uh, half tone images to, to imitate the idea of value, and I use rings and lines and custom half tone images. Um, and this was uh, one of the starting points, and then I started uh, playing around with these kind of really intense colors to pull the eye and weight the image to help kind of play with the compositions and play with the color and kind of instead of incorporating it, having them play off each other. Uh, kind of like we do when I teach 2D to my freshman students. You know, how, how does color relate and how do forms interact? So typically, and I know it varies from one project to another, mm -hmm. but typically about how much time is spent on refining a project like this? Some of these can take up to three to six months to complete, and some of the ones that are larger, like I'm working on one now that's about 20 feet long. Uh, that one's been going on now about six or eight months. I'm hoping to get it finished. <laughs> but it does, it takes time. So uh, these are kind of more along the lines, they kind of fall under the same kind of category as painting. That they're one-offs, there, there, there are no re uh, reproductions of them, and, and they are the piece, and so, um, and so it's a little different. It's more like painting in that sense on, on these. This one is really about color and texture and surface. Um, I made this one when I lived in Macon, Georgia. And the riverboat is actually partially uh, images I've collected from old riverboats or taken pictures of riverboats. But also um, their reconstruction using um, photographs from the windows and the decks and the back sides of old uh, row houses and shotgun houses in, in Macon. Um, and, you know, and people who will really come in and investigate will notice that um, over here in the right corner there, there's bits and pieces of twigs from the campfire that makes the actual fire. Um, uh, some of the people comment about the fact there's kind of an angel form in the, in the upper right. Actually, I really like uh, the one over here, uh, the, the one-two piece, uh, which, which might end up becoming a larger, a larger piece in their future. Um, but there was a small photo, and there was a young couple um, dressed for a, a holiday. They were in a costume, uh, kind of like mountaineer kind of costume. And it was the only photo I found with, with this kind of young couple holding hands. And the idea that there's one of them, then two of them. And, and, uh, and for me, I, I made this when I, um, uh, I'd gotten engaged. And so uh, it, was, it, was the whole, it was kind of like seeing those parallels between the past and the future and then wondering where they are now. Um, this one's called Incendium, and, and, and this one's kind of a, a, a little more about personal perceptions of places or, or, 
our groups or society and how we see one another. And so, and so I've really enjoyed this one a lot. And, and uh, my, one of my students commented before this one, it was kind of like space, and it is. It's, so this is actually based off some you know, space photos. So it's, you know, the, the, these things that seem epic and large in our lives may also be kind of small in the larger brand scheme of things. And, and that's kind of where the, the kind of duality of the image comes from. Well, now, obviously, you probably have a website that people can go to so they can view maybe yes. more of the works that you've done. Yes, my uh, website is dls-ink.com. Uh, please come and to my website and uh, see the work, and please come down to Kilgore College and, and see the work in person. Uh, one thing that uh, you don't have with uh, digital images is, is they're not the same as in person. And that's, and that's kind of, again, kind of the importance of the work. So please come see work, go see work. It's, it's nice on the computer and on your phone, but it's way better to see it in person. So please come to this show and uh, any of the others that are uh, regionally you have access to. And this exhibit by D.L. Simmons is on display through March the 11th at the Andy Turk Fine Arts Gallery here on the Kilgore College campus Monday through Friday, 8 in the morning until 8 at night.